Hey everyone, I just wanted to create this uh, introductory video. Um, basically, I'm planning on creating a series of videos where I am setting up RetroArch from scratch on my Windows 10 uh, laptop. The um, reason why I'm doing this is I've been messing around with RetroArch for quite some time now. Um, some, uh, some of my experience have been good, some have been bad, had lots of questions, things just not working right. Um, gotten a lot of support from uh, people in the community, the RetroArch uh, Discord, uh, the forums. Um, so I, I pretty much have a what I consider a pretty good grasp on it. Um, I'm in no way an expert, and I'm not trying to pretend to be. Uh, there's way you know more. Uh, there's better people out there that know more about RetroArch than I do. But for for what I want to do with it, which is ultimately play the games, um, I'm pretty sure uh, I have that down. And uh, I recently got a, a new laptop, and rather than transferring over um, my setup from my old laptop to my new, I figured what better time than to do this, uh, this uh, tutorial uh, series uh, idea that I've had than right now. So what my intent is, I'm going to be um, setting up this, this laptop from scratch, uh, RetroArch and getting all the games to run uh, in using the settings and the setup that I consider uh, the best for me. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, like what I do. Uh, it helps you guys get things uh, set up. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, what what my intent is not to go and create an hour-long video of me setting up everything. That's just way too long. Uh, I've seen videos like that, and while there was a lot of good information in it, for other people who may not be brand new setting up, just have one question like, how do I set up Netplay? Um, rather than them having to go through 20 minutes worth of video to find that one little tidbit of information, um, what, what I'm planning on doing is focusing on just one action, one task, one objective, just basically one thing uh, that I want to show off doing um, and create a video for that and then when I'm done with that move on to the next and then move on to the next and, and keep building on that um, if I'm ever going to be messing with anything on RetroArch I'll be sure to be recording so that way you guys can see what I'm doing and see the troubles and the hassles that I come up with um, a lot of the times also in videos I see uh, people have already set things up and try to explain what it is that they saw, what it is they're doing, and um, you know sometimes that's hard to follow as well. So um, if you want to come on this journey with me, um, that'd be great. Um, my schedule is all over the place. Not sure how often I'll be able to put these videos out there, and chances are I'll be redoing these videos a bunch of times. I mean, this is like my fifth iteration of trying to get this started, <laughs> um, but. Uh, that's just, you know, how it goes. So, um, yeah, uh, so please feel free to, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm not really anticipating on this getting a lot of views, a lot of subscriptions. I'm not looking to make money off of, you know, off of any of this. Uh, this is just my way of trying to give back to the community that has helped me out and hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully that's what I do. Um, all right. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.